Hello one and all, this is Luckless Lovelocks, bringing you Grim Fandango Remastered Year 2. And I'm going to start uh, off with a brief recap of the plot of the game. Um, because it's been a year since I've played it, and uh, I first played through this game, like, when it first came out, like, in 1998. And that's, like, the only time, and this is one of my favorite games. It's interesting because I've only played through it once, but it's still one of my favorite games. It's just one of those experiences that stuck with me from when I was a kid. So, um, I'm going to start off with the setting, because this is very important. It kind of permeates the entire story, so you guys have to understand this. I'm actually just reading it from the wiki, because they did actually a really good job of uh, describing what's going on in the game. So, uh, the setting. Grim Fandango takes place in the Land of the Dead, the Eighth Underworld, where recently departed souls aim to make their way to the Land of Eternal Rest, the Ninth Underworld. Uh, good deeds in life are rewarded by access to better travel packages to assist in making the journey of the soul. The best of which is the number nine, a train that takes four minutes to reach the gate to the ninth underworld. Souls who do not lead a kind life are left to travel through the land of the dead on foot, which would take around four years. Such souls often lose faith in the existence of the ninth underworld and instead find jobs in the land of the dead. Um, so that's probably what happened to Manny. Makes you wonder what kind of life he led while he was alive. Um, the travel agents of the Department of Death act as the Grim Reaper to escort the souls from the mortal world to the land of the dead, and then determine which mode of transport the soul has merited. Each year on the Day of the Dead, these souls are allowed to visit their families in the land of the living. The souls in the land of the dead appear as skeletal Kaleka figures. I don't know if I pronounced that right. Alongside them are demons that have been summoned to help with the more mundane tasks of day-to-day -day life, such as vehicle maintenance, such as vehicle maintenance, of course, our friend. Uh, the souls themselves can suffer death within death by being sprouted, the result of being shot with a sprout sproutella filled darts uh, that cause flowers to grow out through the bones. Many of the characters are Mexican and occasional Spanish words are interspersed into the English dialogue, resulting in Spanglish. Oh, Techno Dude, welcome back. Uh, many of the characters smoke following a film noir tradition. The manual asks players to consider that every smoker in the game is dead. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Lost Mecca, what's up? Baked potatoes. Oh, okay. I'm already eating an average pre made roast. Just average. Okay, so the plot, what we encountered in the first uh, recording, which is on my YouTube if you guys want to watch. Sprotella knowledge after year one, spoiler. No, you encounter that. You encounter that in year one, if I remember correctly. Anyways, um, the game is divided into four acts, each taking place on November 2nd on four consecutive years. I didn't even realize it was, it was November 2nd. Manuel Manny Calavera. Awesome name. Nice uh, nickname. The music is pretty fucking amazing, yeah. Uh, the whole game is pretty amazing. I would have I would have liked to have seen them improve the graphics maybe a bit more. Uh, the backgrounds in particular could have been more high res for the remastered version, but like the it's just the, the game's so goddamn charming. Who cares? Um, okay, where was I? Uh, Manuel Manny Calavera is a travel agent at the Department of Death in the city of El Mado. Is that like the bone or something like that? Forced into his job to work off a debt to the powers that be. So, we're not really sure what the debt is. Uh, Manny is frustrated with being assigned clients that must take the four-year journey because he's collecting, um, I guess he gets commission based on what type of journey they take, and is threatened to be fired by his boss, Don Copal. Remember, second is the Day of the Dead, right? Gotcha. Um... If he does not come up with better clients. Manny steals a client, Mercedes Meche Colomar, from his co-worker Domino Hurley. He's kind of the guy that's getting all the good accounts. The department computers assign Meche to the four-year journey, even though Manny believes she should have should have a guaranteed spot on the number nine luxury express train due to her pureness of heart in her life. After setting Meche on her way, Manny investigates further and finds that Domino and Don have been rigging the system to deny many clients double N tickets. 
supporting them for the boss of the criminal underworld. Hector Lamans. Hector Lamans. Okay. Hector Lamans is the, the boss of the criminal underworld. God, I'm not going to remember any of these names. Lamans then sells the tickets at an exorbitant price to those that could afford it. Manny recognizes that he cannot stop Hector at present and instead, with the help of his driver and speed demon Gladys, he tries to find Meche on her journey in the nearby petrified forest. During the trip, Manny encounters Salvador Sal Limones. Limones? Limones? The leader of the small underground organization La Souls Alliance, the LSA, who is aware of Hector's plans and recruits Manny to help. Manny arrives at the small port city of Rubacava and finds that he has beaten Meche there and waits for her to show up. And, that, and then a year passes. What's up, Lexi? Nice. Glad you guys are excited. Okay, let's get into the game. That's that's where we are. That is where we are. All right. Return to the game. Now, I should warn you guys. First of all, how's the sound? Uh, is it too high or too low? Limones? Yeah, Limones. I should tell you something about this game, guys, and that's that uh, the puzzles are not obvious. <laughs> so, um, I remember I got, a, I got help from one of you guys last year. I can't remember who it was. Was it you, Blecko? Um, I, may, I may ask for help again. So, as you can see, the city of Rubacava has grown since last time. And we, we appear to be dressed as a pimpin' gentleman. Sounds fine. Also, follows pronunciation. Thank you. Where am I supposed to go? I just walked around! I, oh, okay, there's the entrance. I got it. Sounds good? Okay. The in-game music's a bit too loud? Okay. Look, look at this. It's like set. So low already. Sound is loud in this game. Uh, okay. Not sure, Luckles. Don't think I was here last September. I'll help if you get stuck. I played it a few months ago. Yeah, I'm not using the tank command. Sorry. I actually kind of like the mouse. It makes sense for this game. Doesn't want to go that way. Is that, did I get that right? It's like he shook his head and just walked away. Looks like Lupe's been in the sugar again. Oh. Been in the sugar again. Because of the feels? I, thing is, Blacko, like, I, I mean, I played it so long ago. I don't really... I just remember, like, some, some like, how amazing the characters were how great the writing was and like how immersive it felt and i actually this game at the end i fucking i cried i loved the world so much and i was like i didn't want it to end looks like lupe's been in the sugar again Manny! oh evening lupe i have to tell you about my new organizational system for the coats oh please do Think she'll come in tonight. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, this is uh, very much an homage to Casablanca, by the way. Uh, which you'll see... Well, first of all, by the way that we're dressed, but you'll see going forward. <laughs> oh my god, your guy has short legs. That's what happens when you start chasing. Like the dude says. Uh, think she'll, she'll come in tonight? in tonight? Manny, you ask me that every night. What am I supposed to say? Hmm... Yeah. You're supposed to say, yes, I think tonight's the night. Yes, I think tonight's the night that you finally go nuts from waiting for the grand entrance of Ms. Mercedes Colomar. The thing is, we don't really even know that much about Mercedes, if I remember correctly. I mean, we met her once, but we just, like, kind of instantly fell in love with her. <laughs> Let's try that again. Let's try that again, shall we? Think she'll come in tonight? Yes, I think tonight's definitely the night. Thank you. It's my fault she's out in the woods alone, you know. 
if you say so, Manny. Uh, Bogan. Who's Bogan? Bogan coming yet? Yeah, he's down in the casino, probably enjoying his usual lucky streak. Hmm. In the intro, he's extra tall, takes off his death cloak. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. He has those lifts. <laughs> How's the flow? How's the flow tonight? We're dead tonight, Manny. Everybody's oh, back no. home for the day of the dead, I guess. Except for the casino. The casino's hopping. Why is it that all the people who don't go home are the same people who just love to gamble? Well, I guess when you've got nothing to go home to, you've got nothing to lose. Hey, we should put that over the door. <laughs> Writing is so good. Everything okay back in the land of fur and fedoras? Everything's in order. It's beautiful. I can't wait for people to come in and try the new system. It's so cool. Want to hear about it? Uh, okay. Okay, tell me all the details about your new coat check system. Yay! Okay, I found all these plastic tiles in the back, left over from the automat, and guess what? What? They all have numbers on them. So what I'm doing is I'm <laughs> just like every looking around. Who checks a code in and Manny, you're not even listening to me. I go to all Manny. this work organizing your coats and you don't even care. Lupe. Forget it. Don't pretend to care. No, I want to hear. Hup, no. I'll tell someone else about it. Someone who cares. <laughs> uh okay. I I'm, I'm Super interested. Please, tell me all about your new coat check system, really. Don't patronize me, Cal. Okay, back to work. Okay. Uh, Blecko, oh, that's interesting. He's saying uh, this is the first time that he's heard the English voiceovers. The Italian voiceovers is just too fucking good to pass. Really? I, I thought the English voiceovers was amazing. I mean, not like, not that I've heard any other ones, but... The, the voiceovers are just... The, the voice acting is brilliant in this game. Ah, there's the man. Hello. Hola! Oh. I skipped over the dialogue by accident. Gladys. I guess Gladys is good at anything that uses keys. I love that the size of the piano compared to Gladys. So Gladys is a demon, and he was uh, he was the mechanic and our driver in uh, the first year. It must be yeah. Blessed like I was saying, I love this too. But the Italian one just left a uh, place in my heart. It's like one of those things where it's like the first one you experience, probably the one that you prefer. Quiet night, huh, Cardinal? Day of the dead ain't good for business, Chief. But last night. Remember last night, Manny? Oh, wait! <laughs> What's that you're playing? Oh, this is just a little, you know, love song for a special lady. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sing a bit of that song. Sing a little bit of that song, why don't you? Well, I only have this part. <laughs> Bone wagon. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> the bone wagon's his car. Oh, that's awesome. You think she'll come in tonight? Who, my special lady? No. Meji. You know what, Manny? I think she will. I got a feeling tonight's the night. I mean, could you ask for a better friend than, than, than Gladys? You know, when we leave, I'm actually gonna miss this place. Ah, oh, Manny, why can't we just stay here? We got our fancy club, we got three squares a day. Max lets me take the bone wagon out on his kitty track once a week. Plus, we look good in these clothes. Gladys, Gladys, I can't live in this world forever. It's not where I belong. I've gotta find Mecha and help her. Because if it weren't for me, she'd have been on that train a year ago. Okay, Manny. Well, I'll let you get back to practicing. I don't need to practice, man. I'm good. Pretty he's pretty good, I have to admit. Hey, what's this? this is the bar. Oh, hello. Pour ourselves a drink, ah, maybe? Marillo de Oro. A very fine liqueur filled with solid gold flakes. Nothing but the best for my customers. My rich customers. 
Let's, uh... Yes, I better take this with me. For safekeeping. For safekeeping, of course. Okay. Well, Sorry. maybe just a sip. Oh, yeah. Hit <sighs> that! Hit that, Manny! You deserve it. <laughs> maybe just a sip. I just got a, uh, an achievement for that. I love the old school adventure uh, game. Oh, they're little. They're in the loading, they're little um, bone fingers. But I love the old school adventure uh, game cursor. I don't really want to do that. You don't really want to look at them? I don't really want to do that. Who's this guy? I don't really want to do that. I don't really want to do that. Really? Glitter, you are Barry Monk. Number two, do is the winner. Your chips, monsieur. It's winning again. Again? Mesdames et messieurs, faites vos jeux, s'il vous plaît. Ladies and gentlemen, please place your bets. Mesdames et messieurs, rien ne va plus. Les jeux sont faits. Ladies and gentlemen, betting is closed. Is he going to win again? Uh, no more bets, please. I don't really want to do that. Oh wait, am I? Well, maybe just a sip. I just get loaded. Le numéro <laughs> gagnant. Oh, I see. I'm carrying this. Two black. So I was carrying the bottle and trying to Mesdames use it on people. Monsieur, faites vos jeux s'il vous plaît. Ladies and gentlemen, please place your bets. Not while they're losing. Ah, my bread and butter. Thrill-seeking ritual with a poor grasp of statistics and probability. Les jeux sont faits. Ladies and gentlemen, betting is closed. Chow Chilla Charlie in his regular booth. No more bets, please. I'm getting the feeling it might still be a bit loud. I'm gonna turn it down a bit. God, look at how low I have to turn it down. Um... Chow Chilla Charlie in his regular booth. Le numero gagnant. Mind if I sit down, Charlie? Of Charlie? course not, Manny. I, I mean, it is your club, right? Okay. What are you doing in it? Right. So what are you doing in it? Didn't I tell you not to come back until you can pay your bar tab? Oh, <laughs> or they kicked me out of that cat trick for printing fake betting stubs. So now I have to come here, Manny, which I love, which I love. This guy's shady. <laughs> How did you print fake betting stubs? With this. Isn't Hello? she beautiful? The last time I was incarcerated, I shared a cell with the most dishonest con man I ever met. He was strictly small time, and I managed to steal this from him quite easily. Thanks. You never know when this may come in handy. Hey, give that back to me, Manny. Yoink. Maybe once you sell your bar tab, hey, Charlie? Oh, Manny. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, what else can we use? What else for? can you counterfeit? Nothing, anything. <laughs> Nothing, anything. Joe Pesci and Lethal Weapon. So can you make passports? Manny, you still think like a living man in so many ways. No soul needs a passport. We are all citizens of the same nation, and our king rides a pale horse. So no passports? No. Skeleton, at least. No, that little hologram is so tricky, you know? <laughs> of course it is. How about driver's licenses? Sure. Just, um, give me a recent picture, 50 bucks in, uh, about two weeks, okay? When I think of something I need, I'll come back. I'm not a wishing well, Manny. Okay, so we might need to use them to counterfeit something. Why aren't you over at the roulette table? Yeah, I need your money! Uh, roulette is for lonely widows and Frenchmen. Why don't you get some slot <laughs> machines, Manny? Everybody, old women, little children, they all love slot machines. And I have a system, an infallible system for beating them. Really? All my friends are lonely widows and Frenchmen. All my friends are lonely widows and Frenchmen. Except me, Manny. I'm here to keep you sane. 
Odd confirmed to be on the roulettes. He's not a Frenchman. He's from Saskatchewan. I speak I speak better French than him, I think. Um Let's hear about the system. Tell me your system, Charlie. I can't tell you my secrets, uh, just this. You have to become one with the bandit, Manny. You you have to get inside the machine and, and make it want to pay. On second thought, stay away from my roulette tables. <laughs> Uh, I think slot machines attract an undesirable element. Oh, well, we're all undesirable, Manny. Yeah, but your credit's no good to boot. <laughs> That's a nice. Like, we're just, I love how we're just a jackass. That's a guy. nice suit. Where'd you steal it, Manny? If you learn to play the odds like Chow Chila Charlie, then maybe you too can have a suit this fine someday. You can't yeah, look I've at the suit we're around, wearing. So... Oh, yes. Please, Manny. Get on with your glamorous life. So we've turned Rubicaba into this, like, gambling mecca. Litter, lap, An honest two. roulette croupier Yo, is hard to find. It. And guys like this, even harder. Your chips, monsieur. This guy's just winning non-stop. Everything okay down here? I'm going to need some more chips if Monsieur Lucky does not call it a night soon. Merci. Mesdames et Monsieur, faites vos jours, if you please. You know, some people say you should always walk away from the table when you're on a winning streak. Oh, yes, Look but I'm chips. feeling extra lucky tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, please place your bets. Mesdames et Monsieur, rien ne va plus. Les jeux sont faits. Ladies and gentlemen, Les betting jeux sont is fait. closed. No more bets, please. Yeah, he only lives in Quebec. Police Chief Bogan. Rubacaba's finest. Rubacaba's only, for that matter. <laughs> That's true, it's such a small place. Le numero gagnant, le 32. Ah, my bread and butter. Thrill seeking rich folk with a poor grasp okay, of already, statistics already and probability. Rouge, Peripaz, 32, red. Uh, that's it for down here. Let's go, let's see if we can go out. Ah, yes, we can run. Calavera Cafe. Oh. Mechi? Manny, help me. I've been lost for so long. Why didn't you look for me? I did. You ran off. Why? Because you said I was no good. I've been all alone in the world for a whole year. And it's all because of you! Oh shit, is that her? SS Lombada, are you serious? Do it, Manny! Do it! Did she, did she just throw a bottle at us? This gonna be an annual thing with you, Manny. Every day of the dead, you toss your bones into the drink and I fish them out. I don't plan to be around that long, Velasco. As soon as I find out where that ocean liner's going, I'm after it. Ha oh, oh. ha, that ship's going to Puerto Zapato. That's the other side of the world. Ain't no ships going out that way, but the old limbo here, but... But nothing. If the limbo's my only hope, then I'm already on board. Uh, yeah. Good uh, luck, son. Syndrome. That's all I got to say. Uh, why can't, why can't we go? That Doc Master Velasco is one salty old bag of rope. <laughs> you should see his wife. Lexi's saying, woman don't want to be saved. Leave her be, not worth it.
All ready right. to sail? So I'm ready to sail. On what? On the limbo, man. Let's go. Manny, 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 the limbo's not a passenger ship. She's small cargo, son. And every hand on board works. Examine the moon, please. Okay, I'll try afterwards. Yeah, I noticed that. The moon has, like, a skull on it. A skull on the moon. I'll work. What are your skills? Sales and restaurant management. <laughs> oh, hey, there is one opening on the limbo's crew. Yeah? Yeah, it's in the engine room. And your buddy Glottis would be perfect for it. But he'd have to get his own tools. Techno dude says, Luckles, tu parles très mal français par rapport à moi. Is that right? À moi? Or uh, par rapport à moi? Compared to you. Meche is a strong, independent woman. She's gonna save herself. But I don't know. Okay, what was she like? What was she told? I guess we we sold her the shitty package, right? So maybe she just assumes that we're we're bad. But she seemed to understand, like that we were sympathizing with her. Calavera, if you wish. Okay, if I get Gladys some tools, can we board? Uh, he can, yes. What an no asshole! Offense, Manny, but there's just no place for you aboard the limbo. She's fully manned already. In fact, her whole crew's on board, ready to sail at dawn. <laughs> Except for that one guy. Oh, who's, who's the, the guy? one guy who hasn't boarded yet? Yeah, well, Seaman arranges a little late, but he'll be here before they sail. What job did Naranja have? He ran the galley. Aha! That's us? Management. Yeah, it's similar to what you're doing now. <laughs> Except the fish is fresher on the limbo. What if Naranja doesn't show up? I can fill his spot, right? Manny, you're not even in the Maritime Union. I know that, and you know that. But we're two guys who can keep secrets, right? Gladys is exempt, but the captain will ask for your card. And if you don't have uh -huh. one, they'll serve you to the sharks like chum. And what's worse, I'll get fined. That's a tough union boy, and I don't mess with them. Sounds like a job for our counterfeiter. So let me get this straight. If I get Gladys some tools, then I can get him a job on the limbo. And if Simon Naranja doesn't show up for work, but he will, and I get a maritime union card, which you'll never get, then I can sail on the limbo in the morning. Jeez. I guess so. Just in case you haven't figured it out yourself. What, yeah, kind, what kind of tools, tools does Gladys need? Authentic CB equipment only. Ah, uh, yes. The CB is the best stuff. Where do I get authentic CB equipment? Why don't you ask a CB? Afraid of getting stung? <laughs> <laughs> Where do you think Naranja is? Probably home selecting recipes for the trip. Hmm. What's going on in that bottle? A tugboat? This happens to be a perfect scale replica of the SS Lumbago. I'm just having a little trouble getting the walking beam to fit in the neck here. <laughs> That's funny. Because a lumbago is usually more of a problem in the lower back than the neck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nothing. I'd better go finish that. <laughs> I don't get it. I, you do that, son. Uh. Not a bad little ship in a bottle you got. Yeah, well, there's that Rubicaba Craft Fair next week, and also. Ah, Rubicaba Craft Fair. Here, let me help you with that. Ah, there's some things a man's got to do for himself. Can I, can I grab that? Yoink. Hey, let me see that. Don't bring it over your head if you reach for <laughs> it again. Are we supposed to try to get that? Lumbago is a back illness, I think? I've never heard of that. It's locked. I know, I locked it. Okay, I'm looking at the moon, guys. It shone pale What's up, Vinny? as I stood there alone, and I thought to myself how the moon that, that night cast, cast its light, light on my heart's true delight, delight and, and the reef where her body was, was strewn. Oh, can I grab it? Don't have that kind of equipment. Don't have that kind of equipment. <laughs> don't have that kind of equipment. No shit, Manny. You don't have a, a rocket ship in your pants? 
The SS Limbo needs a little TLC. Okay. All right, so uh, we got to stop the guy. I'm boarding the ship. We got to get the tools. We got to uh, get a card. What's this? This gate only leads up to the Lombada dock, and the Lombada's gone. I've got the lumps to prove it. Huh, no kidding. It's called Lombal Lombalgia in Italian. It's lower back pain in Italian. Lombaga in Sp Spanish? Oh, maybe. Lower back pain, yeah. This gate only leads up to the... I've got the lumps okay. to prove it. So we can't go through here. Why would we want to, though? That's the folding bridge that connects this pier to the base of the cat track. Not picking that up. Okay, this lets you use. Right, where does this go? We did something! It's a beautiful day here at Beeline Meadows. I'm not sure what I hate more, crowds or cats, but I'm definitely not going near either one today. Feline meadows? Is this like cat races? What the f <sighs> What the hell? Wow, somebody really liked this cat. I don't need one of those. Sure you do. Everyone needs one of those. They don't have much use when they're alive and stuff. They don't have much more. Who doesn't need one of these? Beloved Sandspoof, this regal and majestic feline was a record holder for oh. speed and a favorite no. of the crowds here in Rubacava for many years until her career was suddenly and tragically cut short on the second week of the racing season when the airship Olivia One on its maiden voyage no. crashed onto the track mid-race. And exploded. Many bereaved fans testified later that before the blimp hit, Sanspoof was in the lead. No! That's sad. They're not Fuchi, fighting. That smell is Whoa. peor que la muerte. Look at the size of those poops. So these are key. Oh, there's something there. It says revolutionary design leaves can edges safe and smooth for kitty. Let's see. Oh, it's a can opener. Great. Now it smells like a giant cat litter box and some sort of gelatinous demon mystery meat product in here. <laughs> uh, Okramer, what's up? You are here. How's it going? Oh, Ali, what's up? Yeah, yeah, okay. God damn it, guys. Would you guys freaking align your names? <laughs> the next time you come on, I, don't know, I might not even remember. I'm an old man now. Okay, so that's my inventory. Oh, yeah! Look at that thing. It's a frickin' saw. Yeah, well, it's like it was heretic. Exactly. Okay, we still have our scythe, too. Good. I don't need the hernia. Mmm, smells good. But I'd rather eat my own arm. Pick up some poop. <laughs> what the hell? Tempting as it is, I just can't bring myself to jump in the giant unclean kitty litter. What is what? What is with this 
drawbridge. I guess it's so you can clean the, the pieces over here. God. Wish I could change my names uh, to one for all. Your your name's taken on uh, on Twitch. Are you a streamer? You could totally you could easily open another account. Just make it Ali nineteen seventy six, for example. But you do you do whatever you want, man. We're Nanny about Moxie. ready to start. It's Rusty Anchor, Siamese Express, Catastrophe, Abercrombie, Claws of Fire, Fluffy's Rampage, Kentucky White Ball, El Gato Gordo. <laughs> El Gato Gordo, that means uh, the chubby cat. Right out of the gate. I know, I know what Gordo means, because it's one of my co-workers that uh, used to call me Gordo. Uh, it was a term of endearment. Hey! And it looks like rusty <laughs> what was that? Looks like a great night for cat races. But here comes a challenge. Hey. I don't even remember Someone's this part. Can we call you Gordo too? El Gato Gordo. Nobody there. You can call me El Gato Gordo. Hello. Catastrophe. Oh, hi. Betting stuff, please. What? I need the betting stuff for the race you're interested in. Interested in how? Interested in seeing the photo finish file for, of course. Oh, I, I don't have the betting stuff. Oh, okay. Bye. Okay, that's interesting. What am I, why would I need the photo? Oh, no. She's gone down. Oh, well, sorry, monsieur, but this is the elevator to the High Rollers Lounge. That's where I'm going. It is members only. You must be new. And you must have a VIP pass to come upstairs. Adieu. I own the city. Okay. VIP pass. That's got to be important for some reason. Wow. This city's much bigger than I remember it being... Wow, many color. Oops. Well, God. I thought you could use the company with everybody gone for the Day of the Dead. In that case, Manny, why don't you stick around until six? That's when I get off. Like this, a uh, Pequino Gordo? What is that? What is Pequino? It's a metal detector. Oh, that explains why it never gets my hair dry. That's Portuguese. <laughs> Manny the player. Busy night? Hardly. Everybody's gone home for the holiday already. This place is dead and I'm bored, Manny. Bored. Small fatty. Good old adventure games, so I have to admit I never played Grim. Oh, God. Ollie, you gotta play this game. It's so good. Although, you could just watch, of course, uh, and enjoy it. I actually, I did a brief synopsis of the story up until now at the beginning of the recording and I'm going to post it on YouTube. So if you want to catch up, if you want to catch up, there's two ways you can do it. You can watch uh, the stream I did a year ago, which is on YouTube for the first year of this game, or you can listen to the synopsis at the beginning. What's the shuttle waiting for? Uh, they're just cleaning it, but they're very thorough. We run a tight ship here, you know. It's really quite, uh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff in it. Like, there aren't that many puzzles, but just, like, the story, the dialogue, there's just so much of it. You never heard of this game either. Oh, this is a classic techno dude. Can I try out your metal detector? What's your sudden interest in metal detectors, Manny? <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to try that line out someday. Can I just, uh, try out your metal detector? I'm just a collector. Well, I'll show it to you when I'm on break. How's that? <laughs> Are you being sarcastic? We'll catch up. Haven't got enough to watch all their playlists of you, Chris. And others. Yeah, just 1.5 that shit. 
Um, When's your break? Yeah, Dawn. Okay. Oh, that's too late. I'm shipping out tonight. Yeah, right. I've fallen for that line too many times. Okay, why do we need the metal detector? I'm thinking it might be related to the kitty litter. Why don't you come by the club anymore? Well, to tell you the truth, Manny, it's your little coat check girl. All that bubbly energy. I just want to strangle her. I've tried that. It doesn't stop her. I think it's time for your break. We could slip in the back for a little drink. You can hey. tell me all about your job, the danger, the metal detectors. That back room's all business, Manny. And so am I. Oh, denied. What kind of business goes on back there, Carla? Strip searches. Hmm, and you don't qualify. Oh, snap. I want to be strip searched. Why don't I qualify for a strip search? Manny, I agree it would help pass the time, but we have procedures and rules here. And you never know when they're watching. I can only strip search people when a regular search turns up nothing. Hey, it's worth a try. Ooh, I love this part. Sir, if you will, please place all of your belongings on the security desk. Oh, you're clean. Aww. Rats, Manny, I almost got to strip search you. <laughs> Shove it up the anus. What is this? When did you put in a floor safe? That's our new contained detonation chamber in case someone tries to come through here with a bomb. Since when does Rubacaba have a terrorism problem? This town's changing, Manny. It's getting tougher every day. Not portable. It's locked. I'll just walk back there. She doesn't care. <laughs> ah. There's the kitty litter. Okay. Man, I don't remember this. I don't remember this at all. How do I get? Can't get out the screen. Do I have to like walk out? Can I? Okay, there. I can use the uh, I can use the the uh, arrow keys to walk as well. <laughs> Vinny's saying, uh, "Just shove a metal rod in your anus." Works for all the ladies. I'm sure, Vinny is just just like bagging the ladies left, right, and center. Not one hundred percent sure, but this game must be close to twenty years old now. Yeah. Uh, hey, Steve, what's up? It's, uh, I think it came out in 98, 99? No, it's gotta be before that. Or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe 96? I don't know. Okay. These lockers have a note on them. Employees, I don't care who's doing it, but please stop using the contained detonation chamber to crack open walnuts. Thank you. <laughs> 98. Wow. I always, thought, I always thought it was earlier, so... Yeah, so when I played this, I would have been, um, 17. thought it was younger than that. Not picking that up. Yeah, okay. They're locked. They're lockers! I hold down shift to run. That's cool. Okay, so we need to get a hold of that metal detector. I think we're gonna have to get something out of the locker, throw it down into the kitty litter, use the metal detector to find it again. What it is, I don't know. Why, I'm not sure. What's this? A lot of paperwork. A lot of passengers. Everybody's back home, but you and me. Oh. Hey, hey, official documents. Don't touch. Okay. Hey, hey, official hey, hey. documents. Don't touch. Lol. 
<laughs> I just noticed that. Okay, what do we have? I got it. I know how to get strip searched. Well, maybe just a sip. Gold. Uh, <sighs> okay, boss, let go see it. How would you check me now, honey bunny? So, is it time for your break yet? I told you not till dawn. Still got it! Kind of romantic, though, don't you think? How is getting strip search gonna help me, though? Sir, if you will, please place all of your belongings on the security desk. Oh, you're clean. What? Rats, gold! Manny, I almost got to strip search you. I should have gold in my stomach. Cold leaf fog isn't a cheap drink. Uh, all these subs are going via Patreon. Yeah, I don't have a. Um, I don't. I'm not. I'm not a partner streamer with Twitch. So if you're interested in making. Um, subscribing quote unquote um you'd have to do it through patreon um there's also um there's a donation button down below as well if you guys ever want to make one-time donations um what the fuck how much of this do i have to drink that's got to be it right well maybe just a sip i have to drink like a bunch I don't think I could swallow any more metal right now. Okay. Let's see. Sir, if you will, please place all of your belongings on the security desk. What is that link? You sure you're not packing anything else? Maybe. Nothing that would set off that thing. Then, <laughs> sir, I'm afraid you'll have to step into the back with me. He's loaded. Rules are rules. Yes! And Manny. of course, with my dad being in the military, we moved around a lot. Mm hmm I remember this one town we moved to when I was in the first grade. Oh, really? Yeah, the only industry uh, in the I don't area think so, was Benny. figs. Acres and acres of fig trees everywhere you looked. I myself never really cared for figs. I always liked dates more. Or prunes. Don't you just okay. love prunes? They have such a great texture. They're all wrinkled up like my grandma Hedwig's face. Oh, <laughs> poor grandma Hedwig. She was always forgetting things. I remember one time back when I was six. I think we could probably sit here seven. forever. No, 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 no. I had to be six Speaking because Mr. Detectors. Rufus was still alive. Did you just come back here to ask to borrow my metal detector? No way. No oh, way. Okay. Now, where was I? Oh, oh yeah. shit! So the only industry in town was figs. Acres and acres of fig trees everywhere you looked. I myself never really cared for figs. I always liked dates <laughs> more. Or prunes. Don't you just love prunes? They have I such a great just texture. just the part about your metal detector. <laughs> Are you sure you didn't just come back here for this metal detector? Uh, actually, actually I, did. <laughs> I did come back here just for your metal detector. What is it with you in this thing? I'm sick of it, Manny. If this is all you want, you can fight the cat. Oh, Why is shit. it all men are after the same thing? Except you. The only woman you care about is that Colomar dame, and she split on you. I don't know what she did to you, but you know what? I'm done trying to figure it out, pal. Carla. Well, there goes my original theory. Did we get some, though? You wouldn't happen to have a second metal detector around here, would you? <laughs> <laughs> Did we drink all of the uh, gold leaf vodka? God, I love this game. Bye, Carl. Yeah, um, I don't know. 
I don't know how metal detectors work, but gold, uh, I don't think gold is magnetic. But I could be wrong. No, no, of course, it's a conductor. No, gold's a really good conductor. What am I talking about? Yeah, it is. So it definitely would, would get detected. <laughs> Holy shit! Hey! Thank you so much! Ollie! That's awesome! I really appreciate that, man. I've got, uh, um, alerts for people that, uh, subscribe on Patreon. And actually, the other thing you can do is, if you've, uh, subscribed for multiple months, you can hook your, um, I believe you can hook your Twitch account. Oh no, there's a button I need to put in. Yeah, there's a button um, that I'll, ha I'll have to put in down below where you can uh, trigger like uh, an alert for uh, having like resubscribed for, um, for, for the month or whatever. I don't know exactly how that works. I'll have to look at it again. Hey man, I, I really appreciate it, dude. Um, I didn't go through the hand scanner. Is there any idea how those work? Yeah, I don't, I don't know how they work either. I assume it has to do with um, whether or not it, it's like conducts electricity or I don't know. It's probably magnets, like you said. No problem, man. Um, yeah, I truly appreciate the support you guys have given me. Um, it's been an amazing ride, and uh, yeah. So any any support you guys give me helps me stream more, uh, make more content, improve the content, uh, get new games and stuff like that. And I truly appreciate it. Okay, so where is this going? Oh, hello. Uh, why do you have to walk? You have to walk like all the way over here to look at this? Hey, the new blimp is already in full operation. Let's just hope they fill it with something non-flammable this time. Hey, hey! That Hindenburg jab. Not picking Too that soon. up. Too soon? Not picking that it up. It only goes to the land of the living, and there's nothing for me there. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, you know what I was thinking would be fun to do, Ollie, is... Um, stream some pvp for divinity 2 uh we did that with xcom 2 it was a lot of fun um i think it would be fun to kind of duke it out in divinity 2 because i've got i think they've got like a multiplayer um arena you can battle it out in that would be a lot of fun What is that? I know that statue's supposed to mean something about justice, but I don't know. Could be a statue of a famous Olympic gymnast, I guess. <laughs> of course. I I'll see if I can convince Odd to do that. He's uh, he's in Toronto this week. I think he's, he's got um, someone visiting him next week, but maybe the week after. What is this? Oh! Thank you for playing my game. Tim Schaefer. <laughs> Thank you, Tim Schaefer. It's my pleasure. <laughs> he's not much into streaming so far, is he? He, um... I mean, he's a lot busier than me, so... Um, he streams when he finds something that... Uh, I mean, I'm not, I can't really speak for him, but... Seems to find something interesting that would fit with streaming. It's easier to do, like, if you're really busy, it's easier to do YouTube because you could just, you can record whenever you want. Um, streaming, you can't just, like, it's hard to just, like, throw up a stream for, like, an hour and then stop, right? <laughs> Wanted posters. Reward offered for cargo stolen from shipyard receiving area, including a large suitcase bearing the initials HL. I think I can remember that. Can I? Reward offered for cargo stolen from shipyard receiving area, including a large suitcase bearing the initials HL. HL. What this? a horrible jail cell. Then again, oh. it sure taught Gladys a lesson that time. 
Gladys a lesson? Only police chief Bogan knows how to get in there. Okay, why would we have to go in there? Are we gonna get jailed at some point? I don't remember. Can't believe you have less to do though. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's hard to believe what I do. Um. Late night at the morgue, isn't it, Mimbrio? Ah, the morgue, yes. You seems... know I can't sleep with John Doe's on the slab, Manny. I remember if this guy. I don't ID these rose gardens tonight, I won't be ready for the two that come in tomorrow. And before you know it, I'm up to my ass in his areas. I mean, we could always stream and record more, but it's just like the other thing about doing this is it's it's entertainment, right? So you have to kind of do it when you're feeling in the mood to entertain, if you know what I mean. <laughs> the Dota, yeah. We're also hopelessly addicted to Dota. I think Membrio could really use a nice tropical vacation. Yeah, right. <laughs> a nice tropical vacation. What a sad story. These two sprouted and no one came down to claim them? Death makes sad stories of us all. I wonder if uh, one of these is uh, the guy, the worker. The boat. What is the time for vids? How's business? Booming, unfortunately. Blooming. More crime every day. And more and more sproutings like these. Something's happening back in El Moro, I think. And its dark hand is finally reaching us here in Rubacava. That's where uh, Meche was headed? Naranya, yes, Naranya. What? What's up, Vina? Record. Yeah, I should record in 1.5. What exactly are you looking for? I'm digging for a treasure that part of me does not wish to find. For when I uncover that sad doubloon that tells me who this poor soul is, my reward is not riches, but the chance to make a phone call and break somebody's heart. Wow, course, that's dark. With this equipment, the search could go on for some time. Really? Because I happen to have a metal detector. Okay, uh, Ollie, I'll see you in a bit. Do you ever worry that your job is getting to you, member you? Well, forensic botany is a trying job, Manny. But have you ever spent much time here with a florist in life? They became florists because they love flowers. But here, a flower is a symbol of pain, of death within death. Their conflicted feelings build and build, and eventually, they become quite mad. Thanks for the tip. I guess I'll send balloon bouquets from now on. <laughs> balloon bouquets from now on. <laughs> oh god, everything makes me laugh in this game. It's just so, I don't know, it's so, it's so clever. Embryo, why do you stay in town? Why don't you head off toward the Ninth Underworld? Manny, you can only search for something for so many years before you stop believing in it altogether. He doesn't believe in it. Huh. You don't believe in the Ninth Underworld? Why do you think we're all here in Rubacava? Because you're waiting to earn off your time or you can't afford passage or... Manny, we've given up. All of us. When you've been here long enough, you will too. So he kind of feels like we're just stuck in this purgatory. Efficiency. Play games at 1.5 times speed. Do you really think that I could do that, Vinny? Do you think I have the uh, the talent? Can I help? Sure. Grab hold of this leaf right here. Oh. Manny? I can't do it. I know. I was just testing. Membrio uh, equals a hard acid pear-shaped fruit used in preserves or as flavoring. Suits him. Right. 
How do you do this job? Without becoming jaded, you mean? My secret to happiness, Manuel, is that I have the heart of a 12-year-old boy. I keep it over here in a jar. Would you like to see it? No. Uh... <laughs> Sorry. Old coroner joke. Well, don't let me bother you. Always nice to have visitors. Okay. Man, there's a lot of... I just got another achievement. Okay, let's try this uh, metal detector. Oh, shit! I don't have it yet! Fuck. Uh... Hey, this will help? I'm keeping this little gold mine to myself. I just remembered I have this machine, right? So I could probably use that to forge uh, a ticket for the cat races. Okay. 